So this painting is called Mardi Gras Gal, and it was inspired by Michalina Thomas. Some of her artwork is featured here at the DIA. I really like how she uses beading and rhinestones, so I wanted to incorporate that into my piece with the Mardi Gras mask and make it super vibrant and bold. Well, the piece to the left here is Falling Towers, that's the name of it, and the one to the right is Defiance. Falling Towers was actually inspired by, well, 9-11, because I actually did lose a family member during that time, so I also, I guess, found a way to portray that in my digital art. The color-wise, I get a lot of inspiration because I like greens. They look good on my skin tone, so that's mostly why I like them. Um, and my and the pattern itself, you can't just choose a random pattern. You have to choose one that will go with the color scheme. 45th uh, represents our 45th president. And some would even say that we're being led by a clown, so he has these characteristics of a, a rubber nose, and he has this goofy look on his face because he doesn't know what he is. Someone's work that I really admire is Paul Sainz. I really appreciate his ability to really play with realistic, but also he was able to make it look unrealistic. And I really like how he kind of plays with your eyes there. And I actually try to do that in some of my work. This actually was my first ever actually wire sculpture. I was working on doing names, and then this was the first sculpture I actually ever did. Well, really, my whole family is based around a bunch of art and stuff, so I've kind of been surrounded by art a lot, and I've kind of, I guess everything kind of fell onto me because I'm the youngest, so I got a little bit of all their skills. I wanted to challenge myself, but I also wanted to have, I guess, a concept with it. Um, for Yin, I was looking at ancient Japanese art, and so I wanted to mix it with more of a modern style also, so I used the background of the clouds, and then I just did my own thing with that one. So Kehinde Wiley is my favorite artist. His work is paintings, but how he do it, he uses um, African Americans, but he just speaks them more of royalty as if they did back in ancient times. And I really, I just really love it. It's so realistic and so big. What I like about making art is that there's no limit to art. We start off on a blank canvas, like a blank anything. You can just make something so beautiful. You go through it, and to, when you come out finished, it's like, this is exactly what I wanted it to look like. And it's just, it's a good feeling when you finish. We need to offer students classes that they will succeed in and art is like a it's an outlet for a lot of students. Yeah, especially at my school, like the art room, you'll find so many unique people, so I many unique stories because you just, you're able to express yourself in that class. To come in art class is just like a breath of fresh air, being able to just be free and just focus on creating something. I think that art is what drives people. I think that if you take art out of schools, you're going to mess around and you're going to have a lot of people who don't understand themselves or perhaps don't understand the world. Art is so important because it's just like a stress reliever. It lets them show their other side or their emotions, how they're feeling, what they're going through. Art is very important in school. Art serves as a way for me to express my thoughts. You're just able to create something so beautiful just starting out with nothing. My life is art. <laughs>